teachers, what do you know about the history of our school IDHS and which year did you all join? Huh. The IDHS school started in 1940 and it was known as, before it was known as Infant Jesus Anglo-Indian Boys High School. Now it is known as Infant Jesus Anglo-Indian Boys, no boys here. Infant Jesus Anglo-Indian Higher Secondary School. Okay. And then it was started in, I joined in the school 1973. In those days, the classes were only from 3rd to 11th, only one year 11th, 1973. Before that, I don't know. After 73, only 3rd standard to 10th standard. In that time, Father, Reverend Father Thomas Tundil was the principal. After two years, Ferdinand Kaival, Father Ferdinand Kaival took charge and he was the principal. And I joined in 1973 and now my experience in school is 39 years. In 1973, there were only around 35 teachers, not more than that. And students are less than 1000. Only that, that time only the, the teachers and, and the students ratio is that. The master has already told you about the history of the school, so I think there's no need to repeat it. But I used to have good memories and uh, experiences which I cherish, like the Gulmoha tree, which blooms once in a way, and I'm really happy to have that. And another thing I would like to tell you is, it is only your bad students. I'm really happy that. You, your, uh, your batch students have organized a uh, get together after a long gap of four years. It was a 1989 batch. We had a get together in the year 2014. And ever after that, we did not have. So I, I really thank you all for having a get together with the teachers. Of course, the children are having get together with, among themselves, but not with the teachers. So I really appreciate that. And also another thing about your batch is that uh, under the leadership of David, your children come to our school, uh, come and sorry, visit the teachers at the eve of Christmas and wish the teachers, which is something which we can never forget it. And also it is, and they get the blessing from the teachers, which is something great. And now about joining, I joined in the year 1980 and worked for 35 years and retired at the, um, in the year 2015. So every time I feel that infant Jesus is like a home for me, away from my home. Teachers, how many years of service? And that too, uh, any funny memorable incidents during your service when you all were at the time of our school days? And uh, I, there were so many incidents, but I would like to highlight on the sports day we used to have in the Infant Jesus School. And it was not only for Infant Jesus students, but also for the full tangy. It was a festival. And I can remember the school being, school campus being decorated with flags and festoons. Then the big stage and the pen doll, which was used for the, which was made for the spectators. And also we have the request and something memorable and also request given by the students, etc, etc. And uh, those days, the Mount Carmel girls used to be invited for our sports days and they used to come there. And during the, uh, they come and have a break, uh, 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 they come with the teachers and it was a jolly good moment for the boys 
to bring the girls to the stalls run by the teachers. And there were two stalls. One was run by the primary school teachers and the second one by the high school section. And boys used to spend all their money till their pockets are empty with the girls. Then another, another, one, another, another incident I would like to tell you is about Miss Saloma. And she was in charge of selling the sip up those days. And she used to sit there and attract the children like a TV advertisement, she used to hold one sip up in the hand and sip it and attract the children. Uh, Miss uh, teachers, uh, what changes have you seen in the students over the past few years? Because uh, when you talk about work culture then and now, and with the advance of latest technologies coming in, with latest cell phones, smartphones, classrooms, how do these students react to this and how about the teachers for your in those days, there were no phone. The students did not bring phone in the classroom. It is prohibited in the school. But nowadays, most of the children have phone. I think it is a must for them because of the uh, the surroundings like that. They need that because uh, because of the some incidents. Uh, parents gave giving the phone to the children for so that they are using that. But in in the in previous years, uh, when they bring the phone in the school, um, teachers take the phone and keep it in the their room. Uh, then um, drawer after the class only it is given back. But nowadays it's not like that. Not I think uh, they are allowed to use the phone in the class. So what about you, Miss? Anything? Any opinion? Uh, like uh, what Master has said. But now uh, the modern technologies have brought a lot of change in the children. But uh, to compare the children then and now, in olden days, we used to have children who were so loving, obedient, and also, uh, they respect. They had respect for the teachers, um, and the parents were very cooperative with the, with the school. And in case a child was punished, and the parent, the child goes home and informs the parent about it, and the very next day, the parent used to come to school those days and inquire what has really happened. And then we used to talk to the parents and the child was sure to get one more punishment from the parents after knowing what really happened in the school. This is lacking now. So the teachers had the full right to teach them and also mold them into good citizens of tomorrow. But now because the parents are buying all unnecessary things for them and they dance according to the tune of the children. It has become impossible for the children. They want whatever they want. And in the school also, it reflects. They expect the teachers also to do the same thing. Whatever they want, that should be done. That has become the attitude of today. Sir, and teachers, the next uh, question uh, about Tandy. The then and now, because you all have went through so many years and you have come out, uh, a few words about Tangy then and now. Yeah. In the olden days, Tangasheri was very busy. Even night, day, very busy. But now, after the classes, after the school, most of the children are going out, then Tangashiri is like a say dead place. No, 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 no one is busy there because of the uh, it's just like a desert. But no one is everyone is inside the home and watching TV and uh, using the mobile phone and they are not coming out. So that Tangashiri during daytime as well as night is calm like a desert.
ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ತಂಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇನ್ ಓಲ್ಡನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಂಗಿ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೆವನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸ್ಲಿ ವಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಮೋ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ದೇ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆಂಗ್ಲೋ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ಸೀ ಎವ್ರಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ವಿತ್ ನೈಸ್ಲಿ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಶ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಚೆರಿಷ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ಅಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡೇಂಜರಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೈನ್ ಸ್ನ್ಯಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ದ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಡೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೌಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಲೋನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರೈಟನ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೇ ಹೆಫ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ನ್ಯಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಚೈನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ Yes, uh, uh, teachers, the, the last of the about last questions. A uh, few advices and a few words to our students of our 99 back or any other advice for our other batches as well, if you have. Uh, my advice is, you teach your children to respect and obey the not only teachers, parents and others. Nowadays, this is lacking. So that it is uh, my advice is, you teach. train them or teach them how to behave with the uh, teachers the friends even their parents this is my advice you can go what i would like to t- uh, tell you is a reading from the bible i would like to quote something from the bible to you if you have sons educate them teach them self discipline while they are young second one is honor your father and with all your heart and never forget how your mother suffered when you were born remember that you owe your life to them how can you ever repay them for all they have done for you and i this, I, i feel this is the best advice that i can give you and thank you children 